Hey, Trish, can we get some popcorn here? Sure. You know Thank what? you very much. I think she's going to go to the concession to pick up some popcorn for us. You've got to love a good concession stand. Yes. It's American as American can be. Yes. Well, there it goes. Andrew Stockwell, a nice through shot to Logan Coulter, but just couldn't get a nice pass up to Dalton Thomas. And Jake Schoff, horse is number 19 out of bounds with it. Thank you, Trish. Wow. Just yeah. like Mom used to make. That was fast. She is amazing. That smells kind of spicy. Is that spicy popcorn? Nope, not at all. Oh. I don't know what the crew would do without Trish. You know, number three looks like he's holding his stomach. I wonder if it's like a, a duping mechanism. You know, to make people Ooh. think he's tired when he's not. Maybe. Andrew Stockwell trying to get the tackle. Austin Jenner just better turn around. Like with the throw in. Austin Jenner gets that ball going the other way, but no skills Eagles there to clean it up. Burt Lake Eagles with the throw in. And Austin Jenner knocks it out of bounds. Got to get up fast. Burt Lake takes advantage of that defense. The defense is just moving slow. Oh my goodness, what is going on down there now? They're just playing patty cake again. Oh my gosh. Mitchell Copel gets the assist on that. Did you see that? Yes. They he did. passed that ball nice and soft right out to the striker, and he made the shot all the way from 30 yards out. Yes. That's going to happen every time. That defense ought to be whipped. Yes, they, they ought to be whipped or put in the Iron Maiden. You know, you can't be playing Paddy Cake as a defensive man in your own third. You know, that's no good. You know, because what happened here, he passes to the other guy. He just chips over, and nobody can do anything about it now. It's just a goal. I think in the Skills Eagles locker room, they should put up um, no Paddy Cake sign. Yes, no Paddy Cake. No, no fun. No Paddy Cake equals fun. Patty cake equals no fun because head lo hangs low and you get a cramp in your neck. Absolutely. You know, well, here come the Eagles again. It leaves a sour taste in your mouth and it's not fun. You know, it's kind of like if you're going to eat a lemon, but you realize the lemon's been stuck in someone's sock drawer for a long time. You know, and has that nasty flavor to it. That, that nasty, that, that aftertaste you get in your mouth. That's what it tastes like right there when you give up a patty cake goal. Absolutely. You should ask Mitchell how it tastes. He'll probably tell you. I'll bet he knows. Well, the Steels Eagles are getting a lot of shots on goal. It's not like they're not getting their opportunities. No, yes. You know, at this rate, you got to believe that for sure 100% the Eagles are going to win this game. You know, the way it's playing out, you got to think that. Well, since both teams are called the Eagles, you would be absolutely correct. Yes. Ooh, Levi Sandcrant trying to mess things up down there. Doing a good job. Oh, Logan Mackey with the ball now. Back to Dalton Thomas. Dalton Thomas with... Oh, my goodness. That's what happens when you flinch. Yes. That boy flinched on that shot on goal. He's stumbling around. And he took a shot right in the back of the head. You take that ball in the chest, Rico. Yes. You take that ball in the chest. Yes. He can't even walk straight. The refs yes. got to stop this game. That was a powerful kick. Yes. Well, I'm glad it was him and not me. He kind of walking around like the cameraman earlier. You know, it was all wobbly and stuff. You think that's what happened to the cameraman earlier? Maybe he got hit in the back of the head with the ball. He flinched. Possibly. Well, I'm glad it didn't upset my popcorn. Who was hurt? It looks like he'll be okay. Yes, he's walking. It's better to walk than be taken off on stretcher. So we think this is good. He just—he's probably shaking up a little bit. 
Well, I'll tell you what that amounts to. An injured player for the Burt Lake Eagles, they're down one now because you can't replace an injured player until the ref says that subs can come in. Yes. The Burt Lake Eagles gave up a corner kick, so Skeels is in very nice position, sitting pretty here, and that's a nice corner kick, but Skeels Lake Eagles better clean it up and get that ball back in there. Sean Gerby with the shot on goal there. Um, I don't oh, that. and Sean Gerby just kicks the ball out of bounds. That was not a well-controlled kick at all, Rico. No. And they just gave up their opportunity. Yes. You know, opportunities are good. You want to, you want to take advantage of them. It's a 6-4 game, and Dalton Thomas steals the goal kick. And a one-on-four situation, and Dalton goal! Thomas gets his fourth goal. It's a 6-5 game, and they're back in it, Rico. Make me choke on my popcorn. That was exciting. Wow. Well, that's got to cheer you up if you're a Steelers Eagles fan. That's for sure. They're right back in the heart of this thing. Yes, that's the and momentum they need. anybody's it. game. That could be the momentum shift that they really need. Yes. Dalton Thomas with his fourth goal of the game and eighth goal in two games. That is incredible. But I tell you, if the Skeels Eagles team is going to win, they're going to have to come up with some more offensive threats. Yes. That was a near miss. Beautiful play by the keeper, getting his hand on the ball to redirect it out of there. And Kyle Merritt, who has been back in this game for a few minutes, is bringing it down the sideline. You know, it's amazing what one inch or two inches difference can make in a game because it had that gone in, all the momentum that the Skeels Eagles have picked up would have just been lost. Absolutely. So now the ball's back down in the Burt Lake Eagles end of the field and their keeper gives it a boot right to Andrew Stockwell. Oh, the ball got stolen. That's what happens when you try to cross that in front of the opponent. Yes. You've got to do that behind you. Yes. We'll do better faking. You know, well, look at that chip over the defense. Yeah, you got to do better. You know, it's like if you're in prison. And, and there's a penalty. Oh, no. Mitchell Copo with the penalty. That's his second for the game, I believe. And that's going to be another direct kick for the Burt Lake Eagles. They've already scored on one. And that was just a very, 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 very bad direct kick. Yes. Yes. And it wasn't quite as bad as the camera work there, but it was bad. Yes. Would you like some popcorn, Rico? Oh. This is absolutely delicious. No, that's okay. Scrumptious and delectable. I'm going to wait and save my appetite for the tacos. Very well. You know, I like to put molasses on my tacos. Well, I'm not from your country, but I'd like to say that I can eat more tacos than anybody. Uh-huh. Yeah, you should join the, the annual taco festival of our country. You would have a good time all you can eat. Many, I would love that, Rico. Many varieties. Corey Thomas coming out on the ball. The Burt Lake defender, a, a striker rather, didn't even challenge Corey Thomas on that. No, oh, maybe, maybe. That's he, pathetic. Yes, he probably because he flexed his muscles and the guy just got scared. That could be. He yes. is a frightening figure to behold. Yes. Well, yes. what is Burt Lake doing now? They're getting a shot. Oh my gosh, did you see how much room the defense gave them again? Yes. I don't know what they're, they're not playing football out there. They're, they need to tighten that defensive pressure up. Yes. Well, the Skeels Eagles back on the move. And we might have a tie game here. Oh! That was close. Yes, a very good effort. That was close. Anytime your keeper gets drawn out and beaten like that, you should score a goal. But Dalton Thomas just couldn't get a good angle back on that ball. And out of bounds it goes. Well, the Burt Lake Eagles just dodged a bullet there. Yes. You know, that could be a game changer, too. Absolutely. The Skills Eagles are getting 
just as many, if not more, shots on goal than the Brute Lake Eagles. So, in the 6-5 matchup, they could well pull this out. But even if they do, I think their coaches will have something to say about that defense and giving up a 3-0 lead. Yes. Well, here come the Burt Lake Eagles again. And Sean Gerby's having no part of that, but he doesn't kick it out the sideline. He kicks it past the end line, which is going to give the Burt Lake Eagles another corner kick. Yes. That is not what you want. No, I mean, maybe he panicked. Maybe it's kind of like when you have a bat in your house and you're trying to get it out anyhow you can. Well, he did it the wrong way, but he got it out. Yes, that happened to me once. Yes, you just tried to get it out anyhow. I panicked. So I grabbed my shotgun. Yes. Shot my mother-in-law. Wow, no, that's that's horrible at sometimes, but did you get the that bat? It was just a flesh wound. She's okay. Oh, that's good. She still hates me. Yes. But she hated me before, so it really didn't matter. No, guess not. Oh, this could be an attack. Oh, look at Andrew Stockwell with the ball, and oh my goodness. That will kill an attack. Yes. When you lose the ball like that, but it looks like the Steels Eagles cleaned it up, and they're still going, but again. Now Dalton Thomas with the ball and the shot. And the folks at home have no idea what happened, but the ball went wide and over the net. Yes, and then these guys did like some magic jumping around and get different parts of the field really right here. Did you see that? Wow. No, I don't know how they did that. Dude, who's working that camera anyway? You know, to look over at that number 33, that Mitchell Copel, he's a big guy. He certainly is. Yes. Well, I don't know what happened, but we're all the way down on the other end of the field here. Yeah. And then they... Dalton Thomas misses another opportunity. Yes. Yes, they're jumping around a lot. They're like fast. That's a corner kick for the Skeels Eagles, and whoa! How can you not score on that? That's got to be disheartening every moment that passes by and you don't get a goal and you miss opportunity after opportunity. That's got to start wearing on you, doesn't it, Rico? It does. You know, you just got to try to keep up the mental barrier. You know, it's like Fort Knox of the brain. You don't want people come in to steal your gold. It's just like you don't want them to come steal your momentum or your will to fight and live and survive. Well, the defense is under pressure again here and Sean Gerby, oh my goodness. Again, the defense did not pressure, and it's a goal, but Dalton yeah. Thomas now driving the other way. But here come the Burt Lake Eagles. They've got a 7-5 lead now, and Mitchell Copel's going to clean that ball up. Yes. Gets it up to Andrew Stockwell. Andrew Stockwell tries to get it upfield, but you've got to chip it over the defense, not to the defense, and... Here comes Corey Thomas, and that is an errant kick, and look out. He's going to take a shot from way out, and that is going to score. That might be the dagger in the heart of the Skeels Eagles. Yes, dead vampire just got stabbed with a wooden stake. Well, here come the Skeels Eagles. Right in the heart. And we've got a dangerous play. You can't lay on the ball. That is the dangerous play by the Burt Lake Eagles, and they take the direct shot, but don't quite get it there. And here come the Burt Lake Eagles again. Corey Thomas coming out on that one. Makes a much better kick. Goes out of bounds this time. And here comes the throw in and the kick, and... Corey Thomas lays that striker right out. That's the way you gotta play that position. Yes, aggression. You gotta play that with aggression. Those strikers have to fear that keeper. Yes, because now they're shooting from far away. But it's the defensive men's fault.
Up to Austin Jenner from Andrew Stockwell. Austin Jenner.